It's a peaceful rally for reinstatement, and as the sun sets over, Pocomoke City neighbors tell me they are tired of being left in the dark, and they say they want answers. I am fired up. I'm sorry. I've seen how it's changed since the chief's been here. I've seen how the chief has made the community one. It's a fever pitch meeting. Wall to wall demonstration in support of the former police chief spills out into the streets of Pocomoke City. Someone that's doing so good, I think they should remain in office. Not really. So when you're doing good and then when you remove someone that's doing good, that's kind of like ridiculous. Like it's, it was like a joke to me. Very disappointing, very angry. Uh, once again, it was a, a complete surprise. Signs held high above their heads paraded silent but powerful statements. My sign says we need a leader that is for the people. Chief, Chief Sewell was not a person that shunned away from anybody in Pocomoke, children and adults alike. Confusion over the chief's termination has spiraled into frustration. Honestly, I cried. Honestly, I cried. A petition yielding more than 300 signatures have circulated around the area, and some say that's enough to change the minds of the mayor and council members. Here's a timeline of the contentious events that led up to tonight's protest. He started off as a lieutenant in November 2010, then became a captain soon thereafter, and was sworn in as the chief on December 1, 2011. Now fast forward to July 1st of this year. The chief was fired and replaced with an interim chief. If, if he was doing something so bad and you were so disappointed in him, wouldn't that have been in the first meeting where all your councilmen were? When it was open to everyone? You wait until it's behind closed doors and all sneaky? Nah. But if their signatures don't do the trick, they're hoping this rally would. And I think that our councilmen and everything forgot that they work for us. We're the taxpayers. They work for us. Election time's around the corner. Now, neighbors I've spoken with today tell me they have one demand and one demand only. That is to reinstate the former police chief. Reporting in Worcester County, I'm Denise Sawyer, WRDE Coast TV News.